We need to find true south. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned from YouTube years ago. I found something I think I can make work. That's a steal right there. No pun intended. What in the world? Yep. Oh, don't they look so good? They look just like they came out of the oven. I know. We're ready to start our solar panels. First, we got to build the racking. Uh, but even before that, we need to find true south. Not magnetic south, but true south. And I learned from one of the old timers in the community on kind of how to do that. You start out by, really you can just use a stick. I wanted a big tall pole because that casts a longer shadow. I made sure it was plumb. And what you need to do is on whatever the date is, you need to figure out what solar noon is, which today it's 12.27 p.m. So, you want to go and put your first stake in two hours before um, that time. This was put here this morning, and then I just barely put that one in before we lost the sun. And now you can't really see our shadows anymore because it's about to rain. But check this out. Look out, River. Cool. So if I measure from the pole to this stake, it should be the same over there as well. Come here. So it's surprisingly, it's right at seven foot center of the stake. Now, if we go over here, it should be the same or pretty darn close to the same. And it's about a half an inch or so further out, which is fine. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and do all sorts of quackulations and bust my brain to figure out exact true south. But you want to get close as you can to true south as you can. And, uh, and if I were to draw a line from pole to stake, stake to stay it'd be a triangle and you can stand in the middle and basically you're facing true south so this right here is going to help us with uh finding the front edge of our solar rack so hopefully i explained that good enough oh one other thing is you want level ground this is pretty close to level it's probably an inch or two higher over here than it is here, which maybe, maybe that's why I was off by a half inch. But uh, I think it's close enough. This little ice chest of ours is getting a little bit old. We've had it for a while. I use it to when I go into town to put groceries in to haul them back and forth. As you can see, the lid has pretty much come off. It has this little strap, I guess, left holding it. That's about it. So I was going to show you a little trick that I learned from YouTube years ago to fix these hinges. This is a temporary fix, but it lasts about a year-ish, I would guess. Um, we have to fix it every once a year, but it saves a few pennies here and there. So let's get it fixed. What I use is just an old, like a plastic jug of any sort. I've cut out a couple little plastic squares. They're, I mean, they're not exact or anything. It doesn't have to be pretty. So those will go here, and then I'll just screw on the screws back on that were already on.
There you go. Good as new and it didn't cost me a penny. Okay, so we're on our way to the scrapyard in Snowflake to get some pipe to build our ground mounted solar rack uh, for the solar system. But everywhere we've looked, they're either completely out and, and we're looking for used oil field pipe at this point because new, the new stuff is way overpriced. So we've been specifically looking for used oil field pipe and everybody wants an arm and a leg for some rusty old pipe and uh, we're not willing to pay that. So finally, uh, I started calling the scrap yards and got a hold of this one in Snowflake, 25 cents a pound. Uh, they say they got a lot of galvanized pipe, which is great. Galvanized is better than rusted. So we're on our way there. Got my helper back here. Oh, he's out. He's gonna nap before he gets to work. So let's see what they have. Hopefully they have what we need. So after doing lots of searching, I found something I think I can make work. And it's that galvanized angle iron back there just got to get it over here over this big old pile to the trailer so this is gonna be very strenuous I'm not gonna film it so sorry but I'll show you what it is once I get it out hold on okay. how come you're not breathing heavy that was a lot of hard work we got them out of the junk pile and measured them. They are 20 feet long. Um, and uh, here, let me show you. So I thought I was gonna have to cut them down to get them to fit in the trailer, but I decided to put them up on top of here and they'll stick out like that and it clears everything. So, here they all are over there. I gotta load them up and, and get out of here. You're gonna load them up, right? We are loaded up. We've got, oh, I don't know, I haven't counted. One, two, three, four, five, 15, at least 15 of these racks that are 20 foot long. It's eighth inch galvanized steel. It's gonna work out really good. And I even found some little pieces, actually a lot of them are 10 foot pieces of Unistrut. They're a little banged up, but with a little bit of work, I can straighten them out, hopefully. And now it's off to the scale to see how much this all weighs. It's 25 cents a pound. I'm guessing it weighs, oh man, I don't know. Uh, it's gotta be 700, 800 pounds. Anyways. Put your guesses in the comments. How much does this weigh? Let's go to the scale and find out. <laughs> it turned out to be 1,140 pounds worth of steel. And they charged me 25 cents a pound. So it came out to $285. Which is way better than what we were looking at for like brand new stuff 
I mean, we were looking at $1,000 for steel, which is so ridiculous, and I refuse to pay that price. So, scrapyard, that's a good place. And it's galvanized. I mean, you, you can't go wrong. I was looking at rusted oil field pipe. Uh, that was way, way more than this. They were looking at 325 a foot for a two and seven eighths. But anyways, uh, and actually I got a kind of a deal because the guy said that he was, well, first of all, he was saving those and that's why they were so far back there. And I almost went to ask him if, if they were being saved, but I, I guess, uh, I figured to find out later. Um, anyway, and I guess he was gonna sell them for $20 a piece and there's 15 of them, so that comes out to $300. So it, was only, it would've only been $15 more, so even at 20 bucks a piece, that's a steal right there. No pun intended. Yeah. I, I got you really heavy present all right and there it is i like it happy anniversary best thing i could ask for well, is it maybe a like fully completed <laughs> it, i am a day late on the anniversary but uh you know, I tried really hard to make it happen on time, just so you know. Awesome. How long have you been married to, to myself? 14 years. 14 years. And four kids So today what I'm going to be working on is taking apart these long metal pieces. Jacob picked them up from the scrapyard yesterday. Got a pretty good deal on them. What they came from was an old radio tower is what they told him. So um, we're going to take them apart and put them back together the way we need them for our stand for our solar panels. So one of the things that we love is our baked goods. And since we don't have power, I don't have an oven. So I've started getting a little creative. Um, a couple times I've made barbecued pizza. So I'm going to try um, putting cookies on a sheet inside the grill with the um, flame turned down low and see if I can bake cookies in my grill. Wish me luck, and if you have any ideas on how to bake cookies without an oven, send them my way. Let's check my grill cookies, so. Ooh, those are looking good. Kind of brown. Let's see, are they, oh, I think those are done. Look at them, they look amazing. Turn this off. Let's scoop one up. Oh, man. Who knew? You can grill cookies. Oh, they're not even gooey. They're like perfectly cooked. This one on the corner looks like. Yeah, oh, it's still there. There you go. Grilled cookies. It's the way to go. Cookie. Yeah. 
Cookie, cookie. Whoa. Off the grill. What in the world? Yep. Oh, don't they look so good? They look just like they came out of the oven. I know. Why'd you tell the... Don't tell the kids. Oh. They can eat, like, other cookies. <laughs> no, I like to share with them. You and your sharing. <laughs> well, you hauled them already, and they haven't come, so... Let's start That's good them. enough, right? Yep. <laughs> right off the grill. Nice. Five or six.